Lesson 2.2c, Writing a Number in Standard Notation. To translate from scientific notation to standard notation, move the decimal point the number of places hops indicated by the exponent in the power of 10. When the exponent is positive, move the decimal point to the right and add placeholder zeros as needed. In scientific notation, we have 4 and 2 tenths times 10 raised to the fourth power. We move it because this 4 exponent is positive. We're going to move it to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4 hops. That's going to give us 42,000 when we use placeholder zeros. We use the exponent of the power of 10 to see how many places to move the decimal point 4 hops because we have a 4 for our exponent. We place the decimal point. Since we're going to write a number greater than 4 and 2 tenths, we move the decimal point to the right and add placeholder zeros if necessary. 4 and 2 tenths times 10 raised to the fourth power is 42,000 written in standard notation. Now, this 10 is raised to the fourth power. Do you notice there's only three zeros, though the positive exponent? is a 4? Well, this is because there is a 2 in the tenths place. We only need three placeholder zeros to move the decimal point four places, four hops to the right. Since scientific notation is written with the decimal point between the ones place and tenths place, with only one digit to the left of the decimal point, we can use a zero power of 10 to write a number in scientific notation that is already greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10. 9 and 9 tenths is less than 10 and greater or equal to 1. It's greater than 1, isn't it? And it's less than 10. We can write 9 and 9 tenths in scientific notation as 9.9 .9 times 10 raised to the zero power. 10 raised to the 0 power is equal to 1, isn't it? So we'd have 9 and 9 tenths times 1, which is equal to 9 and 9 tenths. Here it's telling us to write in standard notation. We have 2 and 13 hundredths times 10 raised to the 5th power. We take the 2 and 13 hundredths, and since we have a 5, a positive 5 exponent, we're going to do 5 hops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to use three placeholder zeros. We get 213,000 in standard notation. Here we have 1.489 times 10 raised to the seventh power. We're going to move this decimal point to the right seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're only going to need four placeholder zeros, and we get 14,890,000. A positive power of 10 moves the decimal point to the right. The Mariana Trench is the deepest place on Earth at an estimated 3 and 62 hundredths times 10 raised to the fourth power feet deep. Write this depth in standard notation. We have a positive exponent, so we're going to move this decimal point 4 hops to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. We move the decimal point four hops to the right. The Mariana Trench is estimated to be 36,200 feet deep, but it's so deep that this number is yet to be verified. So on a world map, the Mariana Trench is right here. This is Asia. This is China. So the Mariana Trench is right here. Here's Australia. It's very close to Guam. Here's the U.S. and California and South America. Now, the Challenger Deep is the name of the deepest section of the Mariana Trench, and I have a link in the video's description if you want to find out more information about the Mariana Trench. The number 2, 700,000 is read as 2,700,000 or 2 and 7 tenths million or 2.7 million. Because 10 raised to the 6th power is 1 million, it can be read as 2 and 7 tenths million. We've got 6 hops. This decimal point that was back here did 6 hops or 6 jumps to go right here, and we got 2.7 times 10 raised to the 6th power. 
Now, this 700,000 right here, well, that's seven-tenths of one million. That's how we have two and seven-tenths million, or two and seven-tenths times ten raised to the sixth power. To avoid mistakes, draw an arrow for the number of hops needed to write the number in standard notation. Remember to use zeros as placeholders. We have 3 and 2 tenths times 10 raised to the 5th power. We're going to move this decimal point 5 places to the right, 5 hops to the right, because we have a 5 here, positive 5. We're going to have to use 4 placeholder zeros, so we're going to get 320,000 in standard notation. We're finished with 2.2c. We're going to move on to d, comparing very large numbers with scientific notation. It's very important that you remember when going from scientific notation to standard notation, if we have a positive number for our exponent, we're going to go towards the right. Because in the future, we're going to talk about if it's a negative exponent, we're going to go to the left. So remember, going from scientific notation to standard notation with a positive power of 10, we're going to move that decimal point hops to the right. And check out the description for the link about the Mariana Trench. It is really, really interesting. I hope you have a great day. I hope you join me for the next lesson as always. Bye.